rust, patina, antique, or just plain old good fashioned artsy. Or whatever you want to call it, rust looks awesome. Now, the problem with rust, it takes a while for nature to create it. You got to have bare metal and rain and humidity, heat, especially here in Texas. <laughs> It goes by pretty quick. However, what if you could just make it yourself? You know? What if you could speed the process up, make rust happen faster at your own home with household products that you can buy at store, Dollar General even, any dollar store? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, I didn't come up with this, I found it online did some research and um, just decided to make a video on this share it and show everyone my own um, take on it more or less my own experience with making rust at home hope you enjoy check it out and remember trust me I'm a doctor these are the everyday household items you'll need to make rust at home on any metal surface. Ordinary table salt, distilled white vinegar, a spray bottle, a funnel, degreaser, hydrogen peroxide, 3%, and some paper towels for wiping everything down. The very first thing you want to do is to make sure your metal has been prepped first. I've already went ahead and stripped the paint and sanded it down to a nice bare metal sheen. What I have to do now is to spray it down with a degreaser and wipe it completely clean. This takes away all the oils, dirt, any chemicals, anything at all that will make the process of rusting more difficult. So just begin by spraying it down with degreaser. Let the degreaser soak into the metal. Don't skimp on the degreaser. If you're wondering what degreaser I'm using, it's not Braun. It's actually Dollar General brand Grease Lightning. For comparison purposes, the fenders on the left are from a 1981 Sears Craftsman LTV-10 tractor, also known as Project Rusticide. Um, those fenders have been aged in the sun, in the Texas heat, for over 30 years. The fenders on the right are from a 1993 Craftsman. and Although they look exactly the same, the fenders on the right were still painted and I stripped the metal. This is a comparison shot to show you what, after this is done, the fenders on the right will look almost just like the ones on the left. Okay, the next thing you want to do is put some vinegar in your spray bottle. This step is very important. This is called pickling, just like if you were to make pickles with cucumbers. This bottle was almost empty, so I'm going to pour it all in there. Now just take your vinegar and hose down the metal with it. Notice I'm doing this in the direct sunlight. Um, it actually helps with the process of the vinegar drying. And will make this a lot faster, produce a better result in the long run. Once the vinegar is dried on the metal, take any remaining vinegar in the bottle and add in your salt. I recommend doing the salt first. Um, supposed to be about two tablespoons worth, but you can kind of eyeball that.
little extra won't hurt anyhow. Now, take the entire bottle of hydrogen peroxide, 3%. Uh, this is 16 fluid ounces. And add the entire contents, or unless your, bot your spray bottle fills up, but pour it all in there. This should hold all of it, however. Most of it, anyhow. Shake it up a little bit. Mix the salt. Ready to go. You may notice that the vinegar has produced this strange yellowish and reddish brown tinge color to the metal. That's normal, so don't fret. That's just part of the process. Now comes the fun part. Take your hydrogen peroxide, salt, and vinegar solution in the, your spray bottle and just spray away. and watch the rust appear before your eyes. It's supposed to foam up like this, so this is normal. What you are doing is doing what nature does to metal over a period of decades. You're doing it in about the same amount of time as it takes to watch this video. Now just let it sit, sit and soak and stand back and enjoy. As this solution dries on the metal, you can keep going back and spraying it down more and more until you get the desired effect or until the metal no longer will produce rust. And then at that point, just weather and rain and sun will take over from there and you'll have the same effect as 30 years of rust patina in a matter of months. And here's the fenders that I rusted with the technique that I showed in the video after about one week after I did the process to it. It's been sitting outside in the sun, humidity, rain, um, all that jazz for about a week. As you can tell, it's still got a long way to go, but it's mostly rusted. It's got a few little spots here and there on it where the metal is kind of bare in some places um, however if you want to continue the process and make it a deeper darker richer rust continue putting the product on the metal after it's dried uh, don't keep soaking it and soaking it down during the process when it's still wet because it won't do any good you'll just waste the chemicals however if you wait a few days and then apply another uh, coating of the chemical you can keep continuing the process I need to apply more coats however this is a good start now these fenders are the ones from the LTV 10 rusticide that have aged naturally you can tell that the metal itself is a much coarser darker grain than the other one over there however this is done the rusting naturally so
So, pretty easy to do. There's a little shot of both in the, in the same shot. You can see the difference between the two. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be safe, be careful. Let me know how it turns out. Tell me your, your story of how you used my video to rust some metal on an old mower or a wagon wheel or what have you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. If you're a new subscriber, just keep, keep uh, tuning in. I make stuff about every week.